welcome back guys to another video. Today I was thinking we can do a part 2 of my no diving challenge. So let's get into it. I was thinking it was just because we didn't win the first time we did the no diving challenge. This will be a part 2 of it and links will be in the description for my no diving challenge and grabbing challenge. And make sure to smash like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy. Now we're just waiting on the population of just growing and moving on to treetop tumble. This one's pretty simple to do. But now, because it's the first one, there will be more people, so you have to make sure that you get away from them so they don't knock you out. Now the goal is just to maneuver your way through the obstacles without being farther and last and be sure to qualify. Pretty simple. Let's get into it. Okay, we are in the middle, in the second row. So let's just see if we can just get it. And got denied from that hammer there. Now you just want to keep jumping because the water will slow you down, and if you can, you can jump on the platform that the frogs are on. Now, you, what you want to try to do when you're on that is obviously not get hit off, like I just did twice. You just try and want to go in, in between, in between them, which is a little difficult, but right here, and you just want to move your way out of there. Now, Bouncing leaf had to go on the top. Mm, I'm not doing so great, but maybe we can recover this. Now on the rhinos, you just want to stay away from them and you just pass them real simple. That was there, so that was a little unfortunate. Now I'm just bouncing this lily pad into this slide and. I didn't qualify there, but I'm supposed to qualify in there. Just easy as that. There we go. And moving on to the next round. Now we got to the next one, which is Night Fever. This one is just go down the hill there and just avoiding the spinning blades and of spikes and not just falling off, just racing to the end. Let's see if we can do this. My goal is just to actually get a win. So let's see. And the last end, those three bridges lift up, so you have to figure out which one to go on next by timing it. So let's just go right through. These things spin around, just gotta dodge them. You can just stay at this edge, which is pretty simple. This one's a little difficult, just make sure. It's like a waving pattern to it. Go, yep, made it through there. And just timed that right. I got hit there, but still made it through. This, you just want to wait for that to be finished and just go near the edge. Man, but I fell off there. Pretty easy to get back. Not me. Man, not doing so great on this one. You can make it this time. Almost there, guys. Just gotta cross this bridge and. And we made it and qualified. Moving on to the next. Now, moving on to the next round, we have the swiveler. This one's pretty simple without diving. In the center, there will be a fan spinning around in the direction that you will be walking. And then on the sides, there will be these bars trying to knock you off or to delay you so the fan can push you off. It's pretty 
pretty simple survival game. Let's see. We got this. Okay, we are close to the front. A little low. Good. Just wanna just jump over these obstacles. Yeah. Just so. Just jump over these. Dodge these hammers, which I did not do. And call fight. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Time to win a survival game. You get gold medal. Now moving on to the next one, we have Tiptoe, which will be the fourth round. Let's see if we got this. This one's pretty simple. You just gotta follow where people move and just find out where right blocks are. But over time they fade away so you can't really see them, so you have to memorize them. But since I'm not able to dive over the, the holes where the non-able to stand on platforms would be, it's a little difficult. So let's see. Just gotta follow where people move. Right there. Just gotta figure it out. That wasn't right. I think I'm just gonna try to follow these guys. There is a fetus at the bottom, but that one's maybe pretty hard to get, pretty risky. Uh, these people only nine can qualify, so like half of these people are right here. And we made it! Qualified through the final round, that second place there. About 20%. Let's move on to the final round. Qualified. Let's see how we can continue. Moving on to the final round. Let's see what we got. I am hoping it's not Hexagon. But we got Hexa Ring. This one I'm not a fan of at all either. Because the cylinder spins. And when I first did this, I got trapped by the hexagons. Because I was near the back. You don't want to, you want to stay in the front without sliding off. The goal is just to try to make everyone else not get knocked into the slime, which is at the bottom, which you don't want to go into. And simple as that. Just walk around. There's three layers to this the blue, the yellow, and the red. You want to stay on either any of them, really, just without knocking into it. If you eliminate the red, there will be a hole. That hole is then used, or depleted, which makes you go into the hole if you jump into it or fall into it at all, and then and you'll fail, like I just did there. 